Absolute Wealth. Real investors, real results. Hey everybody, this is John Carter from Absolute Wealth. Let's take a look at these markets, which after the fiscal cliff fiasco have been doing nothing but go straight up. So we had the big pop here. We've been consolidating at this very key, what we call a tree line, and it did pop up higher today. I thought we actually might get a pullback back to the snow line here, about 143, but instead we did uh, push higher. We're doing it without the benefit of Apple. Apple's not breaking out here to new highs. It's uh, been struggling. But there are key stocks out there like MasterCard, which has been doing fantastic, like Rackspace, uh, which here has been doing uh, fantastic, and even stuff like Goldman Sachs. And Goldman Sachs is actually a good market proxy. It's like so goes Goldman Sachs, so goes uh, the markets. So now the question is, is what happens now? Well, there's a lot of red flags out here. I mean, gold here, you can see typically gold and stocks will rally together, but gold is not participating. Um, bonds typically will fall apart if stocks are rallying here. And if we look at, well, let me look at the 30-year bond. You can see the 30-year bond, while the stock market was making new highs, 30-year bonds have come down. But if, typically, if this was a true stock market move, bonds would be down here at about 138. So there's definitely a few flags here, but you can't, you know, it's one of those things, you know, you don't want to fight Mother Nature kind of a thing. So the question now is, as we head into tomorrow, I'll be watching the diamonds here. The diamonds are slamming into a key level at 134.82. And if we stall out here, then I'd be expecting a sell-off back to 132.10, which would be a good buy point. Okay, that's where I'd want to pick this up. Uh, but I'm also looking to see um, uh, if this thing does, if this does start off strong tomorrow morning, then I would look for this to fizzle fairly quickly. Okay, so very interesting market here. And... Um, well, I want to see kind of where it closes this week on Friday. That should set the tone for the rest of January. Okay, hope that helps. You guys have a great one, and we'll see you at the next update.